Welcome to Earth Rangers um, lesson number five. Our activity is going to build an anemometer. An anemometer is a device that measures wind speed. To build this anemometer, we're going to need a few paper cups, a couple of straws, a push pin, and a pencil with a good eraser, because that is how you're going to attach the anemometer, and some tape and a hole puncher. You may be packed with a different kind of paper cup, different size, but for as long as it's paper and it's easy to punch a hole through, you should be okay. Our first step is to build these cup straw assemblies. Pretty much they're going to look like this. It's gonna be a straw fed through two different cups facing the opposite direction. The way you do that is you take a paper cup and you punch a hole about a quarter to a half inch from the rim. Now, if your straw is too big, it might be that you need to punch a few holes so that they're big enough for the straw to go through. The next thing you wanna do is punch a hole directly opposite to the one that you just did at about the same distance from the rim. Now you will notice that these cups have an edge right here, which makes it harder to punch a hole through. If you can avoid that, that's great. If not, that's fine as well. But basically what you're gonna end up doing is you're going to feed the cup, the, the straw, through the cup. And if you notice, I did it in the direction opposite to the cup that was already there all the way through. When you do that, um, what we're gonna do next is attach the straw to the cup with tape so that the cup doesn't move around. We can't do, do that yet until we assemble the final product. To assemble the final product, this is what we're gonna do. You will need a fifth cup that's going to be the center cup just as we have it right here. The center cup is going to have four holes, two directly opposite to each other and two directly opposite to each other. The first thing you will do is you take one of these assemblies and feed it through. Like so. Now you are ready to attach the second cup. Again, make sure that the cups face in the opposite direction. This would be a good chance to have a helper hold on to the cup. Have somebody hold on to the center cup for you and then attach the straw to the cup. An easy way to do it is just to bend the straw down and with tape, attach it to the cup, okay? We need to do this again with the second set, okay? I have already attached the straw to this cup. Now I'm gonna feed it through the holes in the center cup. And it may be like I just did right here, this hole wasn't big enough. So I'll take my hole punch and make it just a slightly bigger. You don't want it too big that the straw moves around too freely, but big enough for it to feed through. I'm gonna try that again. There you go, much better. Now make sure that when you attach, oops, I forgot to feed it through the first hole. Let's try that again. And now the second hole. Okay. Now notice how my cups all face in the same direction because that is the, the direction of the wind. Again, find your helper to hold the middle cup for you. Take the second cup for this particular assembly and attach it just like you did the first one. Bend the tape, the straw, and attach it with tape. 
All right. The last thing you will need to do, and depending on your kids, it might be something that you do first, is to make the hole in the bottom of the middle cup. I like to use a sharpened pencil for this. Slide the pencil through. And just make sure that the hole is big enough for your pencil to slide through easily. This will help the anemometer rotate at the end. Now your final step is make sure that everything is lined up correctly. Try to center the straws as much as possible and take the push pin, the push pin, connect the two straws where they intersect in the middle and then feed the pencil that has the eraser through the bottom and attach the push pin to the end. Okay? And this will be your final anemometer. Now, one thing that I suggest you do is to take a Sharpie and put a mark on one of the cups. What will that help is to count the number of revolutions. What you want kids to do is to go outside or using a hair dryer, whatever, have them rotate the anemometer and count how many times this mark goes through one revolution. That way they can compare the wind speed from one day to the next. And this is the final anemometer.